Hello everyone, this is Vega, Vega13. And sorry about the noise and the bright lights and everything else. Right now I'm not in my house, I'm actually in the street. No, I did not got kicked out, so no, don't worry, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just... I'm just disappointed today. For what happened. And like I said before, I'm still camera shy, just a little bit. I'm still trying to save up really good for a good camera and a good computer and a good equipment for the ghost hunting team. Uh, one of my friends is going to help, so he's going to be donating to my little box. But not here on, on YouTube. No, 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 no. But like actual donate and just see if we can get that $187. $187 just so we can start doing our ghost hunting team and we're gonna get new shirts and jackets but I think we're gonna get jackets <laughs> it's better or maybe just regular shirts you know <clears throat> today I want to talk about a little incident that happened today and honestly I'm getting tired and I'm getting fed up so today it's Thursday my son gets out of school at 120 and we went straight to the library once we got to the library my son was like telling me like the police was driving real fast I'm like oh I wonder what happened and then we see the fire department parked in front of the library well the public library to be honest and um, and well I don't know what happened I didn't even bother to ask because it's not it's none of my business. Honestly, it's none of my business. But I hope that lady feels okay because the only thing I heard from the fire department and the medical team was that she was in shock and that she's twitching too much. I don't know if she was in overdose or maybe she had epilepsy. I don't know. So I got my library card got headphones for my son because he was going to use the computers while I was going to use the computer to retype my resume and make it really professional and um, there was this tall guy and honestly I don't care I'm going to use his name his name is Gabriel or Miguel whatever you want to call him like about six or seven inches tall because I'm a five six you know and honestly I wish I was taller like that that's the only thing I'm jealous of everybody else in my life that and a good family a good wife and uh, a good relationship but it's mostly the tallness I'm a short little weasel but there's there's good things and bad things about being short <laughs> and I'll tell you that later on but uh, this guy we were opening a door for the Sorry, we were opening the door for the for the medical team to take out the patient out and take it to the ambulance car. And my son was going next to me. And so like, Dad, Dad, what's going on? Is she shot? I'm like, nope, it looks like she's just having an attack. I don't know. We moved to the side. This guy, Miguel, was like right there acting dumb. I'll try not to cuss. And if I do, I am so sorry. But this guy was being dumb and he just acts like he doesn't know me and then he just starts talking about my kid and the way I was dressed today. And then I told him like, dude, do you have a problem? Because honestly, if you have a problem, you got a problem with me and don't mess with my kid. Because if you mess with my kid, you're going to be messing with me and I'm not afraid to pull any punches. So you either apologize. Or I'll make you apologize. This guy tells me like, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying anything. If you if you have a problem, go fix it. Well, that's what I'm doing. So stop talking about my son and me. If you have a problem, say it to my face, not behind my back, like a coward that you are. Cause I already know where you work, and I will talk to your boss. And this guy tells me, well, you should talk to Cassandra. We're like, why in the hell do I want to talk to Cassandra for? Honestly, what for? I have nothing to do with her. We're not even friends, we're not even nothing. I don't even care if you're dating her. That's if. I heard a lot of bad things about your little small companion. So this guy gets all mad. 
And instead of hitting me or punching me or pushing me, this guy grabs my son and pushes him. So this guy is probably like, what, 28 or maybe 31 or 32. Instead of hitting me or pushing me, he goes straight to my son and I got mad. And I told my son, grab your drink, here's your lemonade. When I was about to hit him right there in the face in front of everybody, this guy just says, F me, literally F me, and starts walking straight to the counter, trying to talk to one of the librarian ladies. Then I heard a little snap. I don't know if he took a picture or a video. He comes back, talks to a, one of these kids that are that have special needs. I know one of them, and he's actually a pretty cool person. And then he leaves and flips me off. But before he flips me off, one of the library ladies told him, I don't know if he heard or not, to get out of the library. If you have a problem, take it outside. So I told the librarian lady, since I have a picture of him, the police officer and the ambulance were still there, so they saw what happened, but they didn't do anything. They just left, you know? But one of them did say, do you want me to make a report? No, I'll make the report. I already went to the police station. I already made the report. They want to talk to my son tomorrow because maybe he's scared, maybe he's frightened, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get up early tomorrow, take him to the police station, talk to an officer, then take him to school because tomorrow he has a Halloween costume parade. So honestly, this guy is either in his, he's either 28 or 30, 31, 32. Instead of hitting me, I'm the adult. He goes straight for my son. And what I don't like is that him and Cassandra like to like to talk about me and my son behind my back. Since I'm not there to defend myself or defend my son, they like to talk a lot of garbage. And honestly, I don't appreciate this. I'm not bothering her, but she still wants to bother me. On our next video, people, I'm going to talk. Well, maybe not yet. I don't think so. It's not time yet. I don't think you guys, the viewers, are ready for this, but it's going to get you pretty angry to the point that, okay, I understand it's her body, it's her choice, but what she did is unforgivable. I can forgive and forget. I give three people three chances and sometimes four, but what she did is so unforgivable. I'm not that religious, but sometimes you got to believe in something. I hope... God has no mercy on her soul. And not on Miguel either for what he did to my son today. Today is October. Today is October. What? What? October? Today is October 26th. Thursday. And this happened around 1.30 or 1.36. But still people, I want you to give me your opinion. Will you let somebody hit your son and then he runs like a coward? Please leave me a comment. Alright, this was Vega 13 and I'm just going to try to calm down, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty angry. Because nobody misses with my son. Nobody misses with my kids. Nobody. And if I do something, I'm the one that gets the prison time. But it's a good thing that the police took this to a serious hand. And I'm happy and I'm proud for all Central Police Department. But still, I hate when people like to bark, but no bite. And when they bite, they run like little girls. You know? Like like how, how my grandma would say it if she was still alive. Like maricas. No tienen huevos. He has no balls. <laughs> All right, people. This was Vega 13. I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to calm down. I'm honestly going to calm down. I'll probably go to my room and play some Resident Evil. I'll probably shoot some zombies. At least that will calm me down. <sighs> 
So I apologize to everybody. This was Vega 13. I am so sorry that I have to make a video like this. I'm not trying to put down anybody. I just want a good simple life like everybody else. And I will protect my children. I will protect my son. No matter what. Even if I have to give my own life, I will do it. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go because I really got to cool off. I really got to calm down. See you on the next video, you guys. And sorry for the lights and all of that. Like I said, I'm outside. I'm on the street. I'm in my car and I'm just trying to relax. And, and as you guys see on the video, it looks like stars. But that's, um, that's silly over there. But it always makes me think that I'm in the fields. So it sort of calms me down. Alright, this is Vega13 signing off. See you in the next video.